Hey you guys, it's Barb and this is Barberland Budgets. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. I'm so glad you guys are here. So in today's video, I am going to stuff my cash wallet and some sinking funds. So let's just get started. All right, you guys, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you how I do my budget because there's some new people here and you may not know what I do. I don't use anything fancy. I did use a planner that I had, but it ran out and I just, my daughter had given me this notebook. It was her college notebook. She didn't need it. She didn't use it. So I took it. So this is how I do my budget. Um, I just take my income and I subtract my buffer. I subtract how much I'm going to put into challenges. And then this is the remaining. So something to note is my mortgage is not included here. It goes into a separate account and $150 out of every paycheck also goes into the credit union for Christmas. So there's a significant amount of money that doesn't come into this bank account, goes for my mortgage and for Christmas. So then I break out my bills. So here's my bills. Um, I pay all these bills online. I don't stuff my bills and then take it back to the bank. I don't have time for that. I do stuff my car insurance and my truck payment. And then the BSN is something for my daughter. And then I hope you guys can see this. My cash envelopes are down here. And then here's my sinking funds. I get paid by weekly, but I, but I stuff weekly. So then I break it out half and half. So that's just how I do my budget and it's pretty simple. Like I said, nothing fancy, just a notebook and a pen. So I'm gonna set this off. Okay, so this stuffing actually should have happened last Friday, which was I believe February 15th. And it's just happening today on February 21st. You know, because of the reasons that I said in my last video, my son broke his leg, he had to have surgery, we were in the hospital a couple days, and everything just got pushed behind. I fell completely off my budget because we were eating out, and it was fine. I just had to do what I had to do. So this actually should have happened last week, but that's okay, I'm doing it now. So today we're working with 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 5. I don't know why I have it upside down like that. Okay, so I'm going to put it in my tray. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. It is Wednesday, so we're halfway through this week. Yay! All right, now in my wallet, this might be a little deceiving because like I said, we were at the hospital. We did not have, um, I didn't use my cash wallet very much. I was swiping my card a lot. By the way, at the hospital my son was in, there is a 24 hour Starbucks and a 24 hour Panera. So we ate late because when we got, we went to an, an original hospital, then we were transported via ambulance where he was gonna have his surgery. And by the time we got there, dinner had already been served and they didn't feed him. So I had to get him something to eat. It happened again the next day because he had his surgery. He wasn't allowed to eat all day. His surgery was like 5.30 PM. By the time he recovered and got back upstairs, dinner was done being served. So for the second day, he didn't have food. And so I had to go down and buy his food, which is fine. I'm not complaining. It was just super expensive. And I just swiped my card because that's, well, you had to order it online and then go pick it up. Anyway, dining out now has one, two, three remaining. And we're going to add 25 for this week. So a 20 and a five. Gas has $5 remaining. And we're going to add 25, which we might not even use it because... I wasn't driving very much. Actually, I left my car at the gym where he got hurt and I was in the ambulance with him. So I definitely didn't drive much last week. Groceries has, let's see, $20 remaining. And today it's gonna get 75, so 50, 70, and five. And it was gonna get 125 as usual, but I already spent it. So I spent $50. 
So here's the remainder of the 20 is going to stay. Household is going to get 10 and let's see what's remaining. $2. So we'll add 10 for this week. Miscellaneous has $10 remaining and it's going to get $10 for this week. You guys, I'm having a hard time with these envelopes today. Pet care has $10 remaining and we're going to add 10. And spending has five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're just going to give it five for this week. All right, so let's see what that gives us in to roll over for savings challenges. All right, so we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna do the two and one there. And we will roll, we will add 37 to savings challenges for this week. And I'm going to set this off to the side. Okay. So we're going to do this two and this one. So let me color these in. I got this little savings challenge from Mandy at Mandy's Budgeting Journey, Mandy's Budgeting Items on Etsy. And so now in this little savings challenge, we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So 10 more dollars and this will be finished. I just like to do a little savings challenge in my wallet. It makes me save a little bit extra. Okay, so that will be it for my wallet. Okay, so first up is going to be this binder so in this binder I took a couple envelopes out because it just was so full it wouldn't close so I took out emergency funds savings Roth IRA and investments and I added it to a new binder and I also took car insurance and my truck payment and added it to that binder because those are more long-term things well maybe my car payments not but I just took them out so we made this this is basically just my family now it's me my four children my niece my nephew and my pets because they're my babies so anyway so today i'm gonna get ten dollars i have not updated the trackers i will do that off camera so now i have 500 600 700 in a high yield savings, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 805. Yay. You guys, let me get a placeholder because I can add a placeholder and put that $100 in my high yield savings. Okay, you guys, I'm back after a very long time because I could not find any with stickers on them already, but I will come back and do that. So... I'm adding 100 in and there should be a five. So this should be a hundred that I am going to send back to the bank. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So that will go back to the bank. And now we have five, six, seven, eight, oh, five. My oldest son, he is going to get $10, but I don't think he's getting a placeholder. So now he has 100 in a high yield savings, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. So 185 for him. My middle son, Jay, is going to get 10. So I'm going to put this 10 back and take a 20. So now Jay has 500, 600, 700 in a high yield savings. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 805. So I'll set this off and I'm going to give him a placeholder. So 805 for Jay. My daughter's going to get 10. 
So five, six, seven, and a high yield savings, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Oops, I forgot to add the 10. So let me give this 10 back and take a 20. Let me count that again. So 700, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 805. So set that off and give her a placeholder. All right, my youngest child, my son, the one who broke his leg, he's going to get 10. So put this 10 and take a 20. So now he has 500, 600, 700 in high yield savings, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 805. So we'll set that off to the side. And now he has 805 as well. Okay, I don't think we need that one. So my little baby nephew, Weston, he's going to get 10. He is my great nephew. He has 100, 200, 300 in high yield savings. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and 75. So 375 for Weston. Weston's little sister, Winnie, my great niece. She is the princess of our family. She's gonna get five. So now little Winnie has 100, 200, 300 in high yield savings, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and 75. So 375 for Winnie. Pets are gonna get $10. So now pets have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55 dollars. Okay, so that is it for this binder. It's much smaller, and I'm going to set it off to the side. Okay, guys, so next up is my new binder. I actually won this binder a while ago, but my car payment is going to get $100. So now car payment has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. That's 500 towards my March payment. Car insurance is going to get 50. Car insurance will be due in March. So now car insurance has 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 in high yield savings. 50, 1,000, 50, 20, I mean 50, 70, 90. 1100 So I have $1,100 in car insurance. Savings is going to get $10. So now savings has $1,500, $600, 50 in high yield savings. 70 80 98 10 20 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, and 42. So $1,842 in savings. Emergency is going to get 10. So now my emergency fund has 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 3,000 in high yield savings plus 100, 200, 350. So 3,350 in high yield savings, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, 3,400. So I can take this 50 placeholder out and these five tens and I can add a hundred in. So now this should be one, two, three, 100, 200, 300, 400, yes. So $3,400 in my emergency fund. You guys, I'm sorry, I'm making this so much more difficult than it should be. My Roth IRA is gonna get 10 today. So now my Roth IRA has 20, 40, 50, and 60. So let me take these two tens back for this 20. So 60 in the Roth IRA. And investments is going to get 10 as well. So I'll take a 20 and put a 10 back. So now investments has 20, 25, and $26. Almost perfect for the month of February for a dollar a day. So 
So that will be it for this binder. And I will set this on this one off to the side as well. All right, you guys. So lastly is my low priority sinking funds. So here, here's my rock. I've been looking for my rock the whole time and it's been sitting right there. Anyway, haircuts is going to get $5. <laughs> so my son is in desperate need of a haircut, but we can't really go anywhere right now to get his haircut. So he has 20, 30, 35, 40, and 45. One of my friends will come to the house and cut his hair. So I think I'm going to reach out to him and see if he'll do that. School lunch is going to get 10. Um, so I won't be ordering for the month of March because I don't know when he's going to go back to school. We'll see. So lunch has 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80. Um, school is going to get 10. And I did, he did get his acceptance to the school he chose. And so the application fee or the acceptance fee, whatever it's called, is going to be $250. So I have enough to cover that. And I'm going to have to take this out and do that within this next week. So school now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So once I make that payment, we'll have $10 left in school. Family Fund's going to get 10. So now Family Fund has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 5, 10, and 15. So 115. Disney Plus is going to get 10. So now Disney Plus has 10, 20, 30, 45, working towards the payment next December. Triple A is going to get 10. I think triple, triple A comes out in June or July. So Triple A will now have 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. So 185. And I believe it's 225, so we will be okay, I think. And lastly is P.O. Box, which is gonna get five dollars. So now P.O. Box has 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. You guys, my math is not mathing today. Let me get my calculator. How much did I say we had? 100. So 100 divided by eight is 12 and a half. So we have three, six, nine. So we can color one right there. All right, so we have $100 for PO box. And like I've said multiple times, honestly, I don't know how much a PO box is. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm really gonna get one because I don't really get anything from anybody. So, if I order something, I'll just use my address. I don't mind doing that. So we'll see. I was going to get a P.O. box, but I'm not sure now. So that will be it for this binder. And we have one more thing. All right, you guys. And last but certainly not least is my secret savings challenge that I am doing for my daughter. She's in school getting her BSN right now. So every week when I stuff an envelope, I mean, I stuff my envelopes, I add $20 to a savings challenge for her so that she can have once she graduates she can have a little something to start off with um you know life's expensive so i don't know why i just did that we're going to add 20 dollars to this envelope right here our last 20 dollars, and we'll put it to the bottom so now we have finished this many and we have two left to finish this challenge right here. And once we finish that challenge, I'm probably gonna put that money in a high yield savings and then start it over. So that's my plan. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. And my son is very happy that I'm finishing up. He's sitting over there patiently waiting to play his video game because I have him in here with me. It just makes it easier for him during the day because he's not able to get up by himself or anything yet. So I'm gonna go. 
Thank you for staying this long. If you did, I appreciate it so much. I'll see you guys soon. Please remember always that Jesus loves you and I love you and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Bye you guys.